And now it's Boomer Life. Lifestyle ideas designed to make your life more engaging, meaningful, and complete. Celebrating the baby boomer generation, this is Boomer Life. Welcome back to the program. Sterling Fox with you, joined in studio by Jillian Fullerton from Shannon Oaks, a seniors independent living community here in Vancouver, located, by the way, at 2526 Waverly Avenue in East Vancouver, right over there in Killarney country, Jillian, right? Just a half a block from Killarney Secondary. Almost, That's right? right. Well, but a block maybe. Yeah. And it's right on the corner where the Killarney Market is. Elliott and 49th, it's right around the corner. There's a little Baptist church there. We're right behind Clarendon Court and Shannon Oaks. 50 years of providing uh, housing to seniors in Vancouver. That's right. That's, right. Uh, that's a remarkable. 50 wonderful years. Very rewarding years. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. And uh, and it should be pointed out that people, uh, Shannon Oaks is, is such a highly regarded uh, organization yeah. and community that uh, people have come and continue to come from all over the world. Mm to take a look at how this community is organized and is run. And then they go home to their home countries, many of them quite far away, and try and reproduce what Shannon Oaks has accomplished in Vancouver. What a compliment that is, Jill. It is a compliment. But it started by our CEO, Howard Johnson, exactly. going to hundreds of communities throughout the world and picking out the best ideas from each one. Right. And it's amazing what he's brought together. All his creative forces came to came to light, and he just picked out what he really liked about certain communities and brought them together for both Shannon Oaks, Vancouver, and Shannon Oaks, Victoria. Okay, excellent. We have a new uh, member of our panel here in uh, on this particular episode of Boomer Life. Andrea Peterson is with us. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. It's thanks, great to be here. Thanks for coming in. Your mother-in-law yes. is now a resident at she Shannon is. Oaks. Now, we were just talking a few minutes ago about we boomers uh, trying to do the right thing by mom and dad and getting out there and advocating on their behalf. And Jillian is probably the first contact person that anyone making inquiries about life at Shannon Oaks. And is that the case? When you uh, got Shannon Oaks on your radar, did you end up talking to Jillian? I did. I did. I, I spoke to someone else first, gathered some information, but then when we went out to first see the site and take a look at the property, it was Jillian that we were lucky enough to meet with, and it just went from there. It Tell us good. a story. Tell us, because uh, you are, you are mm -hmm. the, the, uh, you're the agent <laughs> for, for your mother-in-law. I was one of three agents for my mother-in-law. Yes, right. She is lucky enough to have two children and myself as well. Um, and it was really, it's her story. Mm -hmm. You know, it's her story, but I'm happy to speak it for her. She led the charge, and we were there to facilitate gathering of information and, and sort of going around and supporting her and helping to mm -hmm. find out more about all these different So she, she had already, as I recall, the, the chronology of all of this, mm -hmm. though. It, she had moved Andrea from uh, the original family home into a condo uh, many years before that. So True. she uh, she had already downsized out of the, the old home, which, as Jillian has pointed out in the past, can be quite an enormous emotional and psychological uh, issue for anyone to deal with. But your mom had already sort of hurdled, that, uh, cleared that hurdle by moving to a condo uh, a few years earlier, correct? Well, true in some part, yes. She had definitely done that. She'd moved from what was sort of the family home right. and had the kids in the home and such. And when they had left, and she did move on to a smaller location. But she still had a two-bedroom condo a beautiful little space down at the water that she loved very much. And she'd been there for close to 15 years okay. before beautiful. she just made this move. So while she had less stuff, possibly, than you would have had in, in the family house, house sure, right. right? She uh, she definitely still had that emotional side of the move to look at and, and to try and take that as a hurdle, too. What was the, the trigger for your mom to make mm. the decision, Andrea, to move from that Riverside condo to a senior's community? Mm, good question. It's, it actually was more two-part than anything else, and it started with, and she doesn't mind me speaking on this, a few years ago she was given a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. So that is very much a part of her life, and uh, amongst many other things, it attacks your mobility and your speech as well. Right. Right? So that is something that she deals with daily, um, and that was probably one of the triggers. And then the other was a knowledge that, there are some pretty lengthy wait lists on a lot of these different independent living 
residences, right? Is that fair to say, Jillian? It, it is. Right. Some of them there is, yes. So, I, so I think we found 12 to 18 months seemed to be something. Typical? It did seem to be typical, mm -hmm. depending mm -hmm. on the size of the suite mm -hmm. that you were looking for, you know, yes, studio, exactly. one bedroom, sure, two course. bedroom, yes. you know, yeah. depending on how desirable the unit yeah. was that you particularly wanted. But so a conversation began. How long but, after the, after she was diagnosed did she make the decision, well, you know, I'm going to have to to prove to place myself in a in a circumstance where I'm going to be supported uh, better than living by myself in a condo. Well, I don't think it really came about that way. I oh, don't okay. think it came about as her making that decision and I you know that would be better for her to speak to than than myself, but this conversation was sparked more by we just happened to be at the house one evening and had dinner and we were talking about these wait lists. Right. And it came up that, well, maybe it's a good idea to do the groundwork now. Where do you want to live? Where do you see yourself living next? In what, you know, geographically speaking, do you want to be closer to your family? We're a little removed from where she was at the time. Right. Or is it more important to find yourself near where your physicians are based, your friends, you know, that familiar area that you're used to right now? Sure. So from that came, well, let's explore. Let's start gathering information and taking a look. And then, you know, if you'd like to, to take a look at any of these different properties more closely, we can do that from there. And, and that was really the trigger of how it all got started. So and the exploration process, Jillian and I were speculating that in the last segment that a lot of that, certainly initial exploration, is online. Very mm -hmm. much so. That's mm -hmm. exactly what it was, both by by my mom, by, you know, I have a sister-in-law as well, and she was doing it. She lives a little further away in Saskatoon, but she was doing that online, and I looked at a few places, and then it was a discussion of, well, what sort of interests you? And in the end, there were two that were closer to where uh, my husband and I live and her family, so near us, and then there were two more familiar to her in her area she's at now, So you, she was at. you took a look at all of the options available in Metro Vancouver and, and narrowed it down to four. Right. They, they made the cut, as you referred to in your first segment, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> and it was online. And as you say, I, yeah. I can imagine people would be coming yeah. in, asking more questions in the past. But now all yes. that was done online. So you went from all of the possibilities mm -hmm. in Metro Vancouver to four. We did. Online. Yes. So, sight unseen. Yes. So that's how extensive the information is, is and how exhaustive it is mm -hmm. uh, to to uh, you can really do incredible homework mm -hmm. in the comfort of your own home definitely mm -hmm. and definitely. then so when you got out there and decided okay we've got a short list organized right. now uh, and it's time to go see some of these places for real mm -hmm. did you go or did you take your mom with you was she part of the investigation all the way through my mom took me with her <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, right? okay really? so yeah. she was she was keen to go oh, there. Of course. This was this is her life. This was her decision. We were there just to help and support in any way we could. Do and, you and have <laughs> any idea how different that is from so many other people's situations where the boomers, you, uh, us, the kids, are desperately trying to convince our senior mom <laughs> or dad right, to, to move into a community like uh, Shannon Oaks. And uh, you might as well say you want to just start war with Russia tomorrow uh, because that's probably <laughs> going to be a little easier. That. We know but, better than to not try and convince our mother, my mother, her, John's but, mother of anything. But, it, but the beauty of it is that she was already there. There was no arm twisting or any of that kind of stuff. So that already, Jillian, when they came to see you at Shannon Oaks, what a what a treat that and must have been for you. Because you get you get sort of in the middle of a lot of oh, these discussions do. where you're the person yeah. that has to do some oh, of that I've had, convincing. I've had mothers breaking out crying. Oh, I'll bet you have. So angry with daughters. Why would you? Oh, that's been there's been scenes. Right. This case, um, Andrea's mother is a very articulate, intelligent woman. And she um, does all her own stuff. She's very independent. Um, yes, she has Parkinson's, but, you know, that's not how you identify her. She is so um, with it and so um, just in, in so social. And so she's an ideal resident. You know, she's really um, perfect the way um, I would describe a, a resident coming to Shannon Oaks. I mean, because I see her as a person who wants to socially integrate very much and mm -hmm. is, is hungry for the social aspects of independent living. She um, doesn't want to cook too much anymore. So she's, you know, got her meals provided for her. She's, um, she's had the, I mean, she's using her mind 
all the time. She mm -hmm. partakes in some of our exercise programs, but she's she's there. She's there, and she's uh, a leader. And it's just uh, I can I can what what Andrea is saying is very true. It just uh, confirms uh, how I would how my first impressions when I met her mom. But you would certainly c uh, confirm that not all seniors who uh, reach your office for that initial conversation are there with a big smile on their face, hardly waiting. Can't wait to move in. Some I've had them, a few. I've had them, a few. Oh, of course you have. I've had a few but that are just so keen. But some of them put up a bit, of a, a bit of a struggle. Usually usually that is um, decided off-site somewhere, right, right. you know, <laughs> hopefully before they come in the front door. Usually, mm -hmm. you know. Um, occasionally if, if uh, an adult child is trying to um uh, how can i say maybe hoodwink mom a little bit and all of a sudden arrive at the door mom's smart enough to know that yeah, she's right. been hoodwinked and yeah, she's exactly. not happy right so right. i wouldn't advise that right i would just have that conversation with mom or dad or aunt or uncle and just say look here's we're exploring options you're in the driver's seat here's some i've done some research on what do you think right you know I, that's what i would recommend so andrea you uh, are in the fortunate position of having a senior parent who's keen as all oh. get out to, to be there <laughs> Well, so you had you had you said you narrowed it down to four communities. We did. What was it about Shannon Oaks that made you uh, go? Well, well, this is the, we'd rather be here than the other three. What was the the clincher? Well, we went actually from four to two. Shannon Oaks being yeah. one, and another yeah. one being closer to her family. And so then the the main thing became so down f from four down to two. Four down to two. Okay. Right. One near where she was currently, and then one near her family. And then the decision became geographically what's more desirable, right? Where does she want to live? Right. And I think she made a great decision that being near her physicians, not having to change your physicians and people familiar with you and with, for her, her disease, that was a good decision. And so Shannon Oaks fell right into that. The, geographically, it was located in the right spot. Mm -hmm. So, And when walking through it, truthfully, if I had to say, um, I still would have picked Shannon Oaks. And I think oh, so I would see. my mom. Um, I liked it better. It was open and inviting and uh, interesting and you know you go in and you want to sit down like I just wanted to sit on the couch so does my mom we had a cup of tea and you just want to feel as though is this somewhere that you want to live like right. how does it feel like to to live here mm -hmm. and it had a great feel to it a great okay. feel to it oh, and it offers so here. much as you said my mom was so social she uh, loves to get involved and to do lots of things. She's very capable. I told her to hold back on the carpet bowling for the first while. Don't <laughs> let them all know how capable she you are. Good. No one's going to want you on the team. Um, and, and it offers that. You know, it offered all sorts of activities from things that are physical like carpet yeah. bowling yeah. to yeah. watching the Olympics on the big screen or watching different movies. And yeah. Yeah. and that was perfect. She, that she was should great. be part of the Wii bowling competition. Oh, yeah, she she should, yeah. Sounds like your mom's a bit of a ringer when it comes to Jeez. carpet bowling. Oh, you got her on a golf course, I tell you. Look <laughs> oh, yes, she was a yeah. former golfer. Oh, yeah. 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 Now, uh, speaking of that, not all of these uh, facilities, you don't have uh, nine holes in the backyard <laughs> at Shannon Oaks, but you if, have you have, if you have golfers <laughs> in your community, and you've already talked about the buses that get them out to the theater and to the malls and all of the other things. Are there uh, golfing excursions? Is that part of the deal, too? Stuart, mm -hmm. we have putting greens in our garden. Okay. All right. <laughs> so you can have your clubs in your, you know, in your suite and just go down to the putting greens. Uh, yes, I would. Uh, People can go golfing. People live their life independently. Right. And people can take their cars, too. Of right. course. Of right. course. I mean, it's it's like your own apartment, and, and uh, you can, uh, we don't have golfing excursions as such. Right. We don't, you know, have a whole plethora. But if you, you know, want to go to, say, a, a, a public course or a course that you're a member of, please do. And right. people do do, you know, but... However, and there's little trophies all around, too. Oh, they may be trophies from our golfing tournament, though, too. We have a tournament every year for our golfers, and I think everybody wins a trophy, though, ah, sort of, okay. <laughs> almost. Oh, yeah. That's okay, but, too. Uh, no, they continue your lifestyle that you've started. You know, um, don't park it at the door. Now, your mom, when she, and, and obviously she was the one that was keen as all get out to move into Shannon Oaks. Was she apprehensive? I need to take a break, but I'm curious about this because she sounds so positive mm -hmm. and so self-possessed in terms of, I know what's good for me and I know where I want to go and what I want to do. Uh, were there any apprehensions at all about moving into a community 
Um, well, did did she want to move? Was she keen as as heck to make the move? Yeah. No. Oh, really? No, I mean, okay. no, I mean, nobody. You know, I think it's fair to say. And her and I had a brief conversation, and I this exact topic came up, and I think her answer was, no, you know, you know, you didn't want to make the move, but she's very pragmatic. So yeah. the move was going to be made. She thought it was a good time to do it. She was ready to do it. So you make the decision, and then you make it the best of it, and that's how it went from there. And so her positivity if you will was mostly that she had made a decision yeah. and so then yeah. for her you yeah. don't look back you just move forward and there we so go she did. as as we go to break it's again that that whole business about waiting too long and clearly in andrea's case uh, her mom was not interested in waiting too long and missing out on the fun right no and she is right in the center of the fun now Interesting. Yeah. Our, our guests Wonderful. in studio, Andrea Peterson and Jillian Fullerton. Jillian is with Shannon Oaks, Baptist Housing uh, in Vancouver. Andrea's mom lives there. She does. And we'll be back <laughs> with more on Boomer Life after this quick timeout. It's all about the baby boomer lifestyle. Boomer Life on AM 650.